Hi, welcome back to interq.com. Today we will review fourth question of the first pre C++ test on interq.com website. This question is about conversion of a derived class pointer to a base class pointer. We'll explain how it works and what are some important things to know about this conversion. In this program, we have multiple inheritance. Class A and class B are base classes, each with a default constructor on the data member. Class C is publicly derived from A and B and has a constructor on the data member too. In the main function, object C of class C is defined. The address of that object is a pointer of class C. That pointer is assigned to a pointer of class A and to a pointer of class B. In these two assignments, compiler automatically converts the derived class pointer to corresponding base class pointer. In order to understand how this conversion works, let's look into the layout of the object C. Object layout is about how the data members and base class objects are arranged inside derived class object. A base class object that is part of the derived class object is called subobject. In this picture, the large rectangle is the object C. Then the first rectangle inside it is the subobject of class A, and the second rectangle is the subobject of class B. The bottom part of the large rectangle contains the data members of the object C. Generally, C++ standard does not specify any particular order for subobjects of an object, but for simplicity, we assume here that subobject of class A is the first one in the object C. When direct class pointer is converted to a base class pointer, the resulted pointer points the address of the subobject of that base class. The address of subobject of class A is the same as the address of object C since it is located at the beginning of object C. The address of the subobject of class B is different from the address of the object C since it is not the first subobject. This means that the pointer of the base class A will contain the same address as the address of the object C and the pointer of base class B will contain an address which is not equal to the address of the object C. Now let's look into the three comparisons in this program. In the first comparison, the address of the object C is compared with the pointer of class A. The address of object C is implicitly converted to the pointer of base class A. Since both pointers point to the same object of class A, this comparison yields true. In the second comparison, we have similar situation with the pointer of class B, so it yields true as well. In the third comparison, we have pointers of two base classes. They are converted to char pointer using reinterpret cast in order to compare the memory addresses where they are pointing to. Without the reinterpret cast, the compiler would issue an error since it can't convert one type to the other. The left side pointer contains the address of the subobject of class A, and the right side pointer contains the address of subobject of class B. As we saw in the picture, the addresses of these two subobjects are different, so the resulted pointers are not equal. Thank you for watching this video.